Microsoft Power BI is one of the most common business intelligence reporting and analytical tools out there in the marketplace. But what are the pros and cons of Microsoft Power BI? Is it a product you should be considering for your digital transformation? That's what I want to talk about here today. My name is Eric Kimberling. I'm the CEO of Third Stage Consulting. We're an independent consulting firm that helps clients throughout the world with their digital transformation journeys. And business intelligence is one of the hottest areas within digital transformation. Organizations throughout the world are sitting on tons of data and they're trying to get meaning out of that data. They're trying to glean information to be able to make better decisions from that data. However, not all software applications in the marketplace provide good BI and reporting capabilities. So products like Microsoft Power BI that specialize in taking data sets and making better reports and predictive analytics and better business intelligence, which can lead to better decision making, that's why products like Power BI exist, is to fill that void in the marketplace. And Microsoft Power BI is one of the leading systems that provide this capability. So what I want to do today is provide you an overview of the strengths and weaknesses, the functional and technical strengths and weaknesses of Microsoft Power BI as compared to other BI systems. And one thing I'll note is that third stage consulting and myself included are 100% technology agnostic. We're not affiliated with Microsoft or any other sort of software vendor for that matter. So everything I'm gonna talk about today is meant to be a balanced and objective overview of the product. And Microsoft was not involved in any sort of input into helping us come up with this analysis. So when assessing your BI options, including Power BI, it is helpful to look at how easy it is to set up some of the reports and the BI analytics that you need from the system. And within Microsoft Power BI, there's a number of strengths that you have to work with. First and foremost, its biggest strength, in my opinion, is the fact that it's relatively easy to set up visualization of data and to set up different reports and to set up different ways of slicing and dicing different data sets. That's probably the biggest strength of Power BI. And it tends to have that sort of Microsoft ease of use and look and feel that many of us are accustomed to, even though it's a product that's specific to BI and it's not the same as using Microsoft Office 365, but in general, it still has a similar look and feel that many are accustomed to and an ease of use that goes along with that. There's a wide variety of filtering options in terms of how you can filter data and how you can search for data within reports and dashboards that you might be creating. And it's also easy to create relatively attractive and user-friendly dashboards and other things that you may want to use to present to end users and stakeholders and managers within your organization. Similarly, it also has a very effective data visualizer. So you can visualize different data sets and see what the impacts or what the trends are, more of that predictive analytical sort of approach. So more than just providing data, but really looking at data and how it compares to other data sets as well. That's something that Power BI is very good at as well. And then finally, there's sort of a drag and drop report building capability, which is very easy to use when compared to other BI tools. So these are some of the strengths to consider as you look at Power BI as one of your BI options in the marketplace. In addition to some of the functional strengths that I've talked about already, it's also important to look at some of the technical strengths and the ease of setting up the BI tool and also bringing data into that BI tool. In addition to some of the functional strengths I've already talked about, it's also important to understand some of the technical strengths in terms of how easy it is to set up Power BI as well as to get data into the BI reports and dashboards and analytical capabilities. One of the first strengths I'll talk about is the whole process of data migration, getting the data from legacy systems or from the systems you already have into Power BI. And that's one of the strengths that I'll talk about here. One of those strengths is that you can upload data from multiple formats relatively easily. So if you have multiple systems with different data structures and different ways of communicating that data, it's relatively easy to map that data to what you need within Power BI. And also in terms of ETL, which is extract, transform, and load, that's a process for data migration. In terms of how you get data from other systems into Power BI, it uses a DAX language, which is relatively easy to use. It's pretty user-friendly language that can make it easier to set up Power BI and all the data that supports it. In addition, it's easy to set up specific security profiles for people. So that some people might only be able to see the top line reports, while others might be able to have access to drill down into more detail behind the reports. 
So that's another function that could be an advantage for organizations that want to give different people throughout the organization different views or different access for the same reports. And then finally, and perhaps more importantly for a lot of organizations, is that Power BI, not surprisingly, integrates really well with other Microsoft products. So if you're using Office 365, SharePoint, if you're hosting solutions in Microsoft Azure in the, in the cloud, those are all things that are well supported by Power BI and can actually enable a more seamless experience with your BI tool. So these are some of the technical strengths to consider as you look at Microsoft Power BI. Now, in addition to the functional and technical strengths I've talked about already, it's also helpful to look at the functional and technical weaknesses as well. Some of the things that might create challenges for you or things that are weaknesses that you want to compare to other BI options in the marketplace. And starting in no particular order is the fact that Microsoft Power BI has a big footprint. It takes up a lot of memory. It consumes a lot of resources technologically to produce the BI and reports that it produces. So yes, on one hand, it's very powerful. It's easy to use. There's a lot of benefits that I've already talked about, but that comes at a price. It consumes a lot of technical resources and consumes a lot of memory within your resources. It can be a bit slower than some of the other systems in the marketplace in terms of loading data from multiple data sources. So again, the fact that you can upload from multiple data sources is a strength, but that can slow down the system as well. Another significant or material challenge is that Power BI doesn't work as well in non-Azure environments. If you don't already know, Azure is a cloud hosting platform that Microsoft owns. And if you're using, say, Amazon Web Services or on-premise sorts of systems, it's not going to perform as well, and it's not going to be as easy to pull that data from those non-Azure-based sources and data sets. So that's something to keep in mind as well, depending on what your technological landscape is right now. We found that there's not as much flexibility when you're in the direct query mode. So if you're looking at querying data directly from Power BI, it's not as easy to use. It's not as flexible as some of the other BI tools out there. And then finally, it can be difficult to export web reports. So if you have web-based reports that you've created, it can be hard to export those into other formats that might be useful to your organization. So these are some of the functional and technical weaknesses to consider alongside the strengths that I've already discussed. So is Microsoft Power BI the right business intelligence tool for you? It really depends. Depending on what you like or dislike about the strengths and weaknesses I've talked about here today, you really want to look at your priorities and figure out how those strengths and weaknesses align with your priorities. If you're a larger enterprise type of organization with a lot of different data sets, you're in Azure environment, you're a Microsoft shop that's using SharePoint and Office 365, and you have a fairly robust IT staff that can support a product like Power BI, then maybe it's a great tool for you. If you're operating in a non-Microsoft environment, you don't have the technical capabilities internally to support a product as complex and broad and robust as Power BI, maybe it's not as good of a fit. But either way, I hope this video has given you some strengths and weaknesses to consider as you evaluate Power BI against other options you have in the marketplace. And for more information about this and other BI tools and actually other enterprise types of technologies, I encourage you to download our annual digital transformation report, which contains a number of independent reviews, top 10 rankings, and a number of different types of technologies and industries that'll hopefully give you some guidance and some feedback on what types of systems might be best for your digital transformation. So I've included a link to that below. I encourage you to download that when you have a moment. I've also included links to a number of other resources that are meant to help you through your digital transformation journey. So I encourage you to check out the whole library of content I've included links to below. So I hope you found this information useful and hope you have a great day.